Okay, next up today is a Mitsubishi Colt CZT in for a custom Ecotec map. So we're gonna put it on the dyno, see what she makes in standard form, and then start tuning. Yeah, I did. Civic. Race car. Let's concentrate on the job we're doing. He took his gloves off. I have warmed up. It's pretty took his, hot. Took his coat and his gloves off. I've been behind this car spitting fire at me first, for the last 15 minutes. First time this week that he's took his coat and his, his gloves off. Mate, when I get down to my pants, then you'll be complaining, <laughs> won't you? No, no, I'm just going to keep saying that. I'm going to ask you in every video, you're cold now, because we're at that time of the year, aren't we? Where well, yes, he, I moan, am really he, cold. he moans all summer that he's fucking red hot. It's too hot in here. It's too hot. I can't, I can't cope with you. It's too hot. And then he goes from that to, oh, it's too cold. It is too I, cold. I'm freezing. I'm freezing, Rich. I, my hands are blue. Uh, just what was the temperature like inside the car whilst you were leisurely? You it was know, all right in here. I, I set it to 22, so it was mm. like comfortable. Mm. Well, I've got two choices out there. I'm either behind the car with my hair on fire because there's flames coming out of it, mm. I'm at the front near the fan freezing my balls off. And if I want to breathe, I have to open that door. And it's even colder out there. Oh, God. You'll have me crying in a minute. <laughs> my glasses <laughs> came off. <laughs> Mitsubishi Colt CZT. I joke about buying you a, 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 
electrically heated body warmer Ooh. for for Christmas. But at Ooh. that point, I know that that's what I'll end up buying you. Ooh, that sounds mm. lovely, Richard. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I was only going to get you a cuddle. <laughs> I don't care, mate. I want one of them anyway. What a cuddle? Mm. You have to shave your beard, else we'll just be Velcro. To yeah, we'll each just other. stick together. Right, people were asking at the you know we had a meet on Saturday, a Honda meet, and people were actually asking when Dick Conkers starts. <laughs> it's too cold for that now, isn't it? That's a summer sport. <laughs> it is a summer sport. That's a summer sport, <laughs> ain't it? It's not a winter sport. I've got I've got it down to I've, with a shoelace around it. I'm, yeah, I've been practicing on my own. <laughs> right, anyway, back to this video. Yeah. So it is a Colt CZT. And it's what we loosely call a stage one map, but they're all custom tuned here. So after many, many, many a power run, we've actually come out with uh, 207 brake horsepower, which is fantastic. Came in with 178. Now it's got which a is strong, which is strong. It is for, strong, but it's got a couple of mods. It has got it? mods on it. So it's got a double D-cat and Scorpion exhaust system, which we recommend. It's got a forge RS valve, which we recommend, and it's yeah. got a cane and induction kit, which we recommend, and that's yeah. why it's strong. The only way that you would get slightly better than what you've got now uh, is adding the three port, but you would sort of be manifold. Uh, uh, yes, you little bit, but you don't necessarily need the manifold to make the two fifty and the two thirty. No, no, that, that's true. With the what's it? So you you're not really going to push on much more than that. Obviously, if you start getting manifolds, so if you sort of creep over into what we class as the stage two and you start needing clutches and stuff. So it's like, it's sort of where this is and just slightly above it with the three ports, about the best you can get on the standard clutch. And it's good value for money, I think, because yeah. these cars, they're not expensive cars to buy. So if you were looking for a, like an, a, an entry level performance car, you wanted to get into this sort of thing, then a Mitsubishi Colt CZT is a great buy still for the money. It is, but they are expensive to modify. Yeah, although, you know, your cat-back exhaust system's 333 yeah, quid. Yeah, certain things are okay, certain things are okay. The, the K&N induction, induction kit crept up, though, didn't it? So that's it did 200. keep creeping up, but then they're discontinued now, apart from yeah. what stock we've got left, didn't they? Yeah. So they don't get, they don't get done anymore. And the reason that the parts are expensive, I mean, we sort of touched touch on this in the forum, people get upset because they buy the car 1,500 quid, and then they want a manifold for it, it's 500 quid. What they have to understand is the only reason that these parts exist is down to Dyna Days as a company. Uh, pushing for them. Pushing for them because no one wanted to make anything for it. They only made, say, 1,500 CZTs and 1,500 Rally Arts originally, which is nothing in comparison to a Honda. That's why and you FN2 can go... FN2 and EP3. Yeah, FN2, AP3, 60,000 Every units. Chinese man and his dog wanted to make a part Yeah, everyone them. wants to make a manifold. Everyone wants to make an exhaust. Maybe no, not his dog. Yeah, no one was interested in the Colts. So any development that was done, we basically instigated that and got stuff made. So people, unfortunately, in the Colt world are not grateful for that um, sometimes. And I disagree. It, and I it, think there's plenty of people out there with Colts that, that love the fact that they can get parts, albeit some of them are expensive. Yeah, some of them are expensive. Like your clutches. And stuff yeah, like clutches are expensive. The extreme stage two clutch, if you go for stage two, it's like 825 quid now. Yeah, it, it is expensive. But at the same time, though, there's only two companies that have ever made a, a clutch for a Colt, apart from an original Satch. Uh, replacement for example mm. you can obviously buy those relatively cheap but there's two companies that made a clutch we have and we work with extreme clutch to get a stage two clutch made so that we can run you know so we can run pretty much whatever power you want to run out of a standard engine in one of these um yeah and and obviously because of that and there was low numbers they wanted their money and they weren't going to make them cheap at like two three hundred pound that you can buy a honda clutch for no because they couldn't pump out a hundred stage one clutches because no. there, there was only x amount of people that were going to buy them yeah gonna buy it's them. economies of scale if anybody wants a business asset. and it's uh economies of scale and that's just unfortunately the way it is having said that i would never be without a mitsubishi colt now i absolutely love them i love mine i love the diesel one that i rock on a daily basis i just wouldn't be without a colt now i just think they're fantastic and for all their faults which they have being the cheapest in its class mm. um I love them, and I, I I just don't. I think it's part of. I think it's part of me. Mm. It's certainly been part of you for a long while. Yeah, Mrs. had one from almost brand new, eighteen months old, up till last year. Yeah, she had hers for fourteen years or something. Yeah. She had that for so yeah, been a, a big part of uh, our lives as well. To be fair, well, that's how I met Rich. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Mitsubishi, for that. Should we look at the graph? No. What are you trying to say? Oh. 
I was just saying, thank I've you. I've been very a much. big part of your life. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Vissy, for that. Can you imagine where you'd be without me. <laughs> Yeah, probably twice as, <laughs> twice as successful, yeah. You'd have twice as much work. I'd have twi twice as much money and <laughs> twice as much work done, yeah. Oh, well, there is that. Right. right, let's look at the graph. Okay, so as we always say, always say, red line is as she came in, blue line is as she leaves, and as you can see, power across the rev range, making good, strong power, good, strong car. We finish on 207 brake horsepower, 224 foot-pound of torque, which is great, isn't it? Like I say, what a car. They are... They are part of me, and as much as Richard denies it, the part of him as well. Uh, it's got some good mods, so it's made the power. It's a strong one. Um, true enthusiast, and he really does use this car. I've seen some videos of him uh, attacking other cars with it, so well done. Um, code word for this video, if you bother to get to this, uh, this stage in the video, is going to be uh, Forge. Forge Motorsport. This is a great valve, the Forge RS valve. It's probably it's probably been Dino Days' staple best-selling item for the last decade. Really good valve. So if you have got a Mitsubishi Colt CZT and you do want a decent research valve, you're not getting better than this one. This is the Forge RS valve available on the website. Um, yeah, once again, thanks very much for watching the videos. We appreciate the support. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hey, Rich. We'll see you on the next one, won't we, mate? No. They're already off doing other things. Wait, it was pretty fast.